Hello everyone, in this video you will see how to conduct an interactive lesson using Neopod. In Chrome, type Neopod. You will be directed to a login page like this and here click on login with Microsoft Office 365 or if you have a Google account you can click on this. I'm going to click on login with Office 365 account. You will be directed to a page where you need to type the username and password and then you will have a view like this. And here if you click on my library you will see all the lessons that you have already prepared. If you want to look for a pre-saved lesson on Neopod you can click on Neopod library over here and here you can search for the resource. I'm going to type fractions. Okay, equivalent fractions. Alright, and you have the lessons over here. You can directly click on it. You can preview the lesson here. Or you can add to your library by clicking on add to my library this way this lesson will be added to your library i'm going to click on add to my library okay lesson successfully added now let me go back here i will click on my library and i can see equivalent fraction lesson added over here let me have a preview of this lesson i'll click on it i'll click on edit so when, it, when you click on edit, it asks for do you want to duplicate the lesson. It's better to duplicate, so let me click on duplicate. Just in case you want to make any changes to this uh, presentation. Okay, first slide looks something like this, second is here. You can go through it this way. Okay, now let me show you how to create your own lesson in your board. Click on your pod here and then click on lesson in your pod. Create a new lesson, upload a PowerPoint. You can click over here. Once you click here, you can click on add slide. And here you have the option. You can add a video, you can add a slide. I'm going to click on slide. And here I can type the title. Okay, I'm going to type the title as I see two. Okay, and you can select the layout that you want. If I click on layout here, you have different layouts. You can select this one. Okay, and click on plus and you have text. If you want to type text, you can type it over here. I'm going to type lesson objective to find the text. Right, and here you can upload a picture if you have any. Click on upload image. You can upload from your drive by, or you can upload directly from your desktop. I'm going to upload from my desktop. I'm going to, okay, Microsoft Word. I'm going to use this picture. Alright, you can adjust this anywhere on the screen. And you can increase the size by clicking on this large go down you can have it in the center or remove the bullet points you can make the changes as you want you remove the bullet points all right done you can select any theme if you then select the theme all right so if i click on preview and this is how it's going to look for the students Okay, now let's save and exit. You can click on save. Alright, it's saving the slide. You can title the lesson over here by clicking here. Click on Minotype ICG lesson. Okay, now once again, next, I'm going to add one more slide. I'll click on plus. 
Now if I want to add some activities, I can click on activities over here, click on it. And here you have some open-ended questions you want to add, you can click on it. So your view is going to look something like this and then here I'm going to type a question. I have added this question and then click on save. Enable students audio recording. You can enable it if you want the student to record their audio. You can enable this. And you can add a timer if you want. You can give a, a timer of either 30 seconds or 1 minute and click on add. So this way this question will have a timer and they need to type the answer within a minute and click on save. And next, you can add, uh, let's look at the next activities, what we have. You have poll option, you can click on poll. And you can type the question here. Here I'm asking, do you think shortcut keys work on all software? Yes or no? And you can add more options if you want. And then click on save. So this question is just a poll and next activity let's see we have a quiz okay I will go for matching pairs and click on it and here I'm going to add the instructions select the pairs right okay add a pair I'm going to add first pair that is to cut with the shortcut keys to cut is C T R L plus X. Okay, add another pair. I'm gonna add one more pair. It is C T R L plus V. So I've added three pairs done. So it should look something like this. Select the pairs. Okay. And if I preview this, it's going to look something like this. So it says select the pair. So when students have to click on the right pair. So control V and paste. So it is correct. It's going to look something like this for them. If they select the wrong pairs, copy and control X. It's going to show something like this. Then they can click on it again. So this is how matching pair works. And now we'll click on save. Next. I'm going to go to the next question. I'll click on add slide and here go to activities and I can add the next one that is draw it. Now if you want to add a mind map, if you want them to draw something, you can use this. So here I'm going to type a question. I'm going to just match the following. Okay, Match the So here I'm going to upload the picture of the words. I'm going to upload the picture. The picture is here. So they all they need to do is the draw draw the lines. Okay, so save. Alright, so draw it. I've used this activity. Let's go to the next one. Next activity we have collaborate board. Now this can be used for your plenary. I'll use it at the end. And here we have fill in the blanks. If you click on fill in the blanks, you give any question and the students can drag, drag the answers and place it in the correct places. Okay, let me show you how to use it. I'm going to select a theme for this. I'm going to select this one and here you can paste the text. I've pasted the text here. Now I'm going to click on next. And okay, so this one. I want this word to be there. And this one. Okay, so these three words. Then click on done. Alright, so fill in the blanks. If you want to have a preview of this, you can click on preview. It's going to look something like this for the students. Alright, and students will have to 
drag it and place it in the right place something like this if they place the wrong ones I'll show you. click on done you got one out of three I'm going to close the preview let's go back to the next wow option that we have activities this is a quiz again and this is also a quiz the normal quiz you can just let me quickly show it to you click on quiz all you need to do is type the questions here type the options here and then you can go to the next question I've added three questions in the quiz the first question is here second is here and third is here okay once it's done click on the save button you can also add a video click on add and here you have the video option click on it and here you can search for the videos from Neopod or you can go to YouTube click on YouTube here and search for the YouTube videos once you add the video it's going to look something like this and then click on the save button here After you complete the lesson, you can have a quick preview by clicking here. If you want to share with other teachers, you can click on share. And you can send it to them via email or you can copy the link or you can send them using Outlook or Gmail accounts. Next, if you want this to be... Next, click on the save button, save and exit. So your lesson is saved over here. You have it here. I'm going to, to share it online with the students. All you need to do is, you need to start the session live participation. Click on live participation. Once you join the Teams meeting or a Zoom meeting, you can share this code with the students all right or you can click on this link copy this link this way and share it in the chat box of zoom or teams meeting copy it and just share it or you can ask them to join by typing join.neopod.com in uh, using their mobile phones or tabs or ipads they can join by typing this code and it will they will be directly taken into your lesson and at the same time you will be able to see the student's name okay at the side when they join in this way you can see all your lesson uh, slides over here and the students who have responded by clicking on this you will be able to see and once you advance the lesson the screen gets changed for the students as well only when you advance the, their screen changes so this way you can create an interactive lesson on Neopod. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.